Let's begin with looking at the design of our cognitive potential. We can begin on the surface. The type is the energy projector. It's an emotional authority. We have a 3-5 profile, the right angle. It means we have somebody who is self-absorbed in their process. They have a personal destiny. We also have a wide split definition, so that means they are designed to collaborate with the right others who recognize their strengths and invite their gifts. And then as far as the authority, discernment through the emotional intelligence combined with the cognitive feeling awareness, and that is the authoritative process in this person's design. So now you know how to do that where are the link nodes? Are the link nodes part of the definition? So what Katja wrote is, Levina's life, the way in which it is intended to be held together, is something that is deeply, deeply open in her. Link nodes are in the undefined splenic center, 28, and undefined sacral, 42. So the cognitive potential here is the 42.6. I'll uh, make a little comment here in my chart. We can see that there is an uncertainty in a long, slow, maturing process of my personal perspective of growth because it is six line as an activation. So I haven't gone to the full maturity of that six line process yet. I'm about to turn 46. Goodness, I don't know what I'm what age I am, 45 or 46. <laughs> so now this is not in a fixed state because we don't have a, a planetary activation fixing it into the exalted or the detriment. And we don't have a definition here, right? So I can be conditioned to see things ending in many different ways as far as whether or not people can complete cycles of experience or bring things to their proper ending. Generally, I see people entering into things incorrectly and they cannot complete it. The way that my mind works is it sees endings. In the dream rave analysis, the 42 is the decay of the body. It's, it's ending cycles of experience. So now, Katja brought the rest of this in for analysis, combining Ra's words with her interpretation, which I'll now read. So the personality south node is the only gate and the only activation in which the personality recognizes the vehicle. This is incredibly important. So when you're looking at your personality link node, you're also looking at something that will tune into your body. It may be a key one day to understanding what is the easiest way to get people to enter into their strategy and authority, frankly. I think it could be quite a key." Unquote. That was in Advanced Mechanics, Lecture 5, Storyline and Cognitive Potential, page 128. So the 42 says, the expansion of the resources which maximizes the development of full potential. And here is the underlying cognitive potential in this active environment, because it's left, active because it's left, which is not highly populated. We have a second line environment. Here's the gift of being able to guide growth and finishing cycles of experience. And that gift is going to be determined by the expansion of the resources, which maximizes the development of full potential. Ross says, so this very framework, in a sense, of what this person is going to be like if they're correct and what they're going to be like in terms of the way in which they are being in their life, in their environment, in their looking out, out in the world and in their dealing with the other. So. I always thought of myself as caring or compassionate because this is the nodal path, yeah? Gate of caring. I'm very selectively caring of my tribe, my people. But I've been getting so many more comments and compliments and remarks about me being nurturing. 
and my mind didn't even identify with this. And so I kind of had a shock of recognition when I read this earlier and just felt so incredibly touched to be witnessing that, that I can see the power to share the process of growth with others. And I can also see, I can see it, the refusal to share the benefits of growth with others and how that can swing. So six line is called nurturing. Yeah. We have nurturing becoming a big story here in the storyline. So you can see in order for Lavina to be able to take advantage of her environment and her perception, it's going to be very important for her to be nurturing, but she can't invent the nurturing. If she is operating correctly, what she is going to notice is that she is more and more and more nurturing as she moves along, nurturing in the correct way for the correct people. What we're dealing with is a personality here in this link node. So remember, it remains who you think you are, this personality saying to the body, we do have to be nurturing. It's passing the nurturing information to the body, but only the body can create the nurturing. So after all, it's who you think you are, that personality, yeah? Everything that you think you are is the personality and one design link node. This is part of who you think you are. It's not that you tune in purely to the 28. It becomes part of the way in which you interpret your personality. What does the 28th gate, the game player, say? It speaks about the transitoriness of power and influence. So shaking hands with the devil, risking anything to get what you think is the projected victory. It strengthens your ability to see through the personal perspective rather than who is winning and who is losing through the distracted power view. And boy, could I really identify with this one as well. Yeah, the cognitive potential being the 28, the natural risk taker. I can understand, comprehend that one really clearly. Distasteful alliance. Another way of saying this is when the game turns to a struggle, the intuitive acceptance of any alliance in order to win and the risk of sacrificing principles when there is no guarantee of victory. But it is this very way that I have a cognitive potential or a linkage that my mind can identify with. I really could see this personally in myself and played out in my life. So that's the thing that I want to ask you, invite you all to take a look at just those link notes, kind of process it, ponder it. And Ra wants us to look at our storyline. So look at your storyline this week, your cognitive potential, and think about your life process. So this week, I really want you to take a moment to think about what you were like before you met human design. You could think about your storyline, your cognitive potential and relationship to what you're like today. What is the nature of your life like right now compared to what it was like before you encountered human design? So what did you live as far as your frequency? Now, the longer that you've been in human design, you'll see the longer your stick is for measuring the difference. Yeah. Because it's one of those things that everybody who goes through in this deep deconditioning process, this transformative, radically transformative process is that we have an incredible difference transformation that we go through in human design. Yeah, the first cycle of our deconditioning process, the first iteration is just that seven years. Now, because we do this alone and it is only in our hands because only we are living this body, breathing this life experience, witnessing this personality. <laughs> it's so important to see that there are ways that you can offer this to others, that they get to see the transformation and the difference in their lives. 